Hello everyone, so we're going to see the difference between the interpolation string and the format method. So here we have the example of the string.format method. Look at this and the interpolation. So we can see clearly that the interpolation is much better for readability. So you can see that here it's taken the string.format is taken here the placeholder zero, which is this voice, and then it said, you know, the value is going to be currency with two decimal points. Let's actually let's print the result so that you can see it and format it you know both they have the same result as you can see it formatted if it formatted data as a currency with two decimal points okay now let's see with a variable string as you can see here so first one is the variable string as you can see and compare it with the string interpolation. You can see it clearly that string interpolation has better readability than the first one. Let's check another example. This one. So let's do a comparison. So you so you are and this is a placeholder. So to know what's the placeholder, you need to go back at the end. Okay, it's age. And then you continue reading and until you reach the placeholder there here. And you see this day dot now the t minus h while if you go to string interpolation you know there's no placeholder the placeholder actually has a variable as you can see so you are age years old as you can see it's clearly a string interpolation that has much better readability over string dot format and the last example this is the last example so what we are doing here let's print it Oh, it's empty. Why is that? It's empty. That's weird. That's weird. It shouldn't be empty. There's nothing. Even this one isn't printed. What's going on? Oh, I have to save, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the header. As you can see, it's a table. This is the header and these are the values. So we have a list here that we are going to store a tuple inside it. A tuple contain a revenue and profit. So we're trying to analyze financial data and put them in inside a, a table. And here we're printing the header and this is the formatted string here. So this is a placeholder, the one and two and this seven six seven means you know push it to the right with seven width it means push it to the right with seven width and here with six other one with seven also n means here number with a zero decimal point and here it means include the uh, positive and negative and p it means percentage with two decimal points as you can see percentage with two decimal points and we're using it for each loop so first one is the formatted string, as you can see, this is the template, this one, yeah, this one. We're putting the formatted string here, and we are putting the placeholders, filling the placeholders with these arguments. So here we have a tuple, we're using the list, and here we have a tuple, we're accessing its values by the dot item. So dot item one, dot item two, to get the, the values inside it. And the last one, so we're making, we're creating the percentage by, you know, dividing the profit over the revenue. And look at both. Look at this string interpolation. Everything is inside one line. Also, it's clear. So we can also create variables uh, and assign and assign them to those, like this one assigned to this one called uh, revenue this one price and write exactly revenue and profit and percentage here to be more clear but you can say that the string interpolation is much better for readability here and remove this one yeah uh, also, I want to mention uh, something that the string.format might offer better performance that, that was in the past, so especially when dealing with a large number of arguments or complex formatting requirements. You know, however, with the 
optimization introduced in .NET 6 and C Sharp 10, the performance gap between string interpolation and string format has been reduced, making string interpolation a viable alternative in many scenarios. Uh, this is uh, what the video is about. Thank you so much.